All right, I went to a card show. Um, yeah, at the local mall. Uh, picked up these two figures. Uh, one is the Grayson Hunt from uh, Bloodstorm, and from Crisis Two, the Nano Suit figure. Uh, the one I'm gonna review first would be the Bloodstorm. All right, here's what the figure looks like in packaging. This is Grayson Hunt, and uh, here's the figure from Bloodstorm. And here's the back, as you can see, Bloodstorm, Grayson Hunt, here's the little bio thing, and then uh, two pictures of the figure, and also the accessories that it comes with, Epic Games, and let's get them out of packaging. Alright, uh, yes I'm in the bathroom, and uh, uh, I was having a problem with my figure, uh, the hips weren't moving, so I basically took it apart. And uh, basically, if uh, people want to see what it looks like, there's the pin, there's the hinge, it goes in, and then here's the hip piece. Basically, line those uh, holes, line these two holes with that, and this little uh, peg piece will go into this area right here. R, R, and R. Okay, so uh, it wasn't moving, so I basically heated up with the hair dryer and then uh, took it apart myself and uh, tried to fix it because um, it was so tight that I didn't want to break that joint. And um, they use a somewhat of a um, soft rubber to make this piece here. So that's why if I if I twist it. This this peg here will break, so that's why I had to take it apart and uh, trying to realign it and uh, maybe lo uh, loop this area a little bit, so it'll be easier to move uh, <coughs> move uh, within the hips. All right, here's what the figure looks like with the hip joint uh, back on there. As you can see, swivels a little better, but uh, since the the crotch piece and the, um, uh, the hip joints. They're both made out of soft rubbers. It kind of. Mm, uh, I wish they would have made the the hip joint uh, a harder plastic than a softer rubber, because uh, if if it gets stuck and you try to turn it, that's when it breaks. That's what happened to my uh, Ryu from the Street Fighter figures. Uh, yeah, so back then I didn't think of uh, taking it apart and trying to mess with it but uh, now that I know I would take it apart and try to mess with it first before I really turn these uh, these uh, joints alright if anyone's interested in uh, seeing what the hip joint I mean the, the waist joint looks like basically it's a peg with the hole so it's a swivel joint there you go all right. Uh, after a half hour, half hour of uh, deconstructing this uh, figure, you would really appreciate how much uh, articulation this figure has. Actually, um, head is on a ball joint. Okay, uh, shoulders are on a ball hinge, and then bicep. There's a swivel, and then there's a ball hinge and the elbow, and then the wrists are on a ball joint. Uh, on this side, um, shoulders on ball hinged. And then elbows a uh, ball hinge, and then wrists are on a uh, a ball joint, and then the waist are on a swivel, and then the leg, uh, the hips, there's a uh, it's a ball hinge, and then thigh, thighs there are um, uh, swivels, and uh, the knees are ball hinged, and then the ankles are ball joints. So now here's a detailed look at the figure, um, as you can see. He comes with a uh, pair of goggles and uh, they are translucent. And all the detail work they did for this figure is just amazing, actually. And uh, let's take a look at the weapon as well. And here it is. It looks really good, actually. Other side, basically the same thing. 
Very cool. And uh, here's the back. Uh, the back reminds me a lot of uh, Gears of War figures. The hunchback thingy on the backpack type style. And there's a little uh, skull right in the middle there. A ghost skull. And here's a little canister on the back. And the pants. And the detailing on this thing looks amazing actually. Alright, and here's a nice pose I gave him. As you can see, he's holding the weapon, both hands. And uh, since I messed with the hips a little bit, uh, you know, taking it apart and all that, so now he can bend hips and legs are better and everything's good now. And uh, yeah. Quite... And here's another look. And I highly recommend you pick up, uh, anyone to pick up this figure. It is a very nice figure. Uh, but if you're having problems with the hips, I suggest be careful with it. If you know how to take it apart, take it apart and mess with it a little bit before uh, you try. Uh, before you try to twist the hips, because uh, before you try to uh, bend the legs, because uh, otherwise you will break the break that joint if you are not careful. And uh, yeah, and uh, yep, there you go. And demo is out on the marketplace. You're welcome to download it and try it out. And uh, even though I don't work for Xbox, but yeah, I've seen some uh, gameplays of it uh, from uh, G Soto and also my film 117. So yeah, go take a look at them and. Uh, they are a cool, um, they are a cool, uh, walkthrough and all that stuff, but if you own an Xbox, I suggest you get on live and download that demo and try it out yourself. And, uh, yeah, figure definitely a, um, must buy, and, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.